So I think one of the things that last year did to many of us, which a lot of people are going to be talking moving forward or speaking about moving forward in 2020, is just kind of a reflection about how 2020 went and their lessons. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Grace and if you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this video. Be a Grace Alex Evangelist. Bring people to my channel. They will learn something. Okay, that's a joke. But anyways, welcome back to my channel. And if, if you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I don't know how many times I'm going to sing that. But yeah, subscribe. Um. Whew. We're finally, finally, finally coming to the end of January. Anyways, welcome back to my and channel. Today we are going to be talking about embracing growth or embracing a growth mindset. <laughs> um, so I think one of the things that last year did to many of us, which a lot of people are going to be talking moving forward or speaking about moving forward in 2020, is just kind of a reflection about how 2020 went and their lessons. And I, be, I think one of the things, I do say I think a lot. I believe one of the things I learned last year or I learned last year was actually embracing a growth mindset. And that was very important because last year was very stifling for a lot of people. And I know for myself, it was really, really challenging. Um, those who, ha who sub are subscribed to my newsletter would tell you how challenging it was for me to kind of find a job that I really wanted and work in a space that I was comfortable in. And what, when I did get that job, I had to reflect on what steps I had taken during the year to, to, have get, or to get me to that position. And one of the things was embracing a growth mindset. Now, a lot of people would ask, so what is embracing a growth mindset? And I would say it is being resilient and focused despite challenges and that is very very difficult in a world where there's like a lot of noise a lot of clusters and a lot of people telling you this is what you should do this is what you should not do but having that resilience in a world that is constantly changing and being focused in achieving your goal is actually the first thing to embracing your uh, growth mindset it's picking up new skills or new tools that can help you achieve a goal that you had set out for yourself so I'm going to give you guys an example of what it is to embrace a growth mindset, which is very helpful to painting a bigger picture of what I'm talking about. So for example, last year I needed to transition fully to working in a non-profit organization. And I knew with my background and skills that that was going to be challenging or a bit difficult to achieve. So what did I do? I did what every normal person did during the pandemic. I started to take courses and collaborate with people in spaces that we are very non-profit focused and i worked on projects that um, helped improve immunization services for people in kb state nigeria i also worked in improving um, menstrual um, hygiene for girls in slum and rural development or slum and rural areas i worked on gender focused issues i also worked on fundraising and also lean methods to gathering data and I feel with some of those skills and experiences and having that work experience and adding it to my CV and speaking to recruiters had you know, improved my chances of getting the position. And so when I did get the position in December, I had to look back at these processes and I, that I took and I realized that it made sense in, the growth mind, in embracing a growth mindset perspective. So one of the things um, embracing a growth mindset or embracing a growth mindset or perspective towards life helps you do is that it helps you become a leader because you kind of have to start thinking about skills and um, talent new skills or um, tools that you could pick up to actually help um, your teams or people you work with or yourself grow in a space that you are working in a comfortable leader because for you to get to a place of growth you would have done a lot of self-reflecting, a lot of understanding where your weaknesses are, a lot of adopting new tools. And those skills or um, 
yeah, those skills or talents are very important. Okay, one other thing is also that when you have gotten to a growth mindset, you're able to inspire others and people to be able to achieve new things because your story and your life and your experiences um, would be a testimony to others and you get people coming up to you to ask for recommendations or um, advice or habits they can in, like impute into their lives to help them grow. Another thing is that you can actually influence others towards a common goal. I do realize that with social media, a lot of people are, are, being, are able to kind of tell their stories and influence people to actually follow a particular path. A lot of people are into marketing these days or storytelling or creative journey. Not necessarily because that's what they set out to do, but because they've been able to, people, people in that space have been able to inspire them to know that they can do that. And so embracing a growth mindset can also help you help others achieve a common goal. What, what this does, and I think that people think that there's like one, there's a particular way to achieving that or there's a magic wand which you can just snap and then you get or achieve a growth mindset. I do tell people this, that it takes a lot of self-reflection, a lot of self-awareness, a lot of understanding your weaknesses, a lot of patience. So there's not one way to figuring out how all of this works. Um, I do think people should ask questions you don't always have to have answers to everything i don't have answers to everything and that's why i haven't really done any course like project or you know considered myself an expert um but that said i do believe that people have to be patient have to learn have to understand um the environment adopt new skills resilience is one of the most important attributes you can have especially in today's world where things are quickly changing and there's always a new emerging infectious disease that can halt our life if there's anything we've learned in 2020. And to em embracing a growth mindset is the one thing that can help you to be successful. Now, as I said throughout this video, none of these things come easy. There's no magic wand to it. People learn, people reflect, reflect, learn, speak to people about, you know, your ideas. Always be open to learning. I think that's one central thing that's theme I've spoken about today. Um, pick new tools. Um, always reevaluate what you are doing, and see and see what you can change in that process, so that you can also inspire others to achieving a growth mindset and being better versions of themselves. I do hope this video was very helpful. Um, see you guys next time. I'll see everyone next time. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you for being here. I do hope to maintain the consistency this year. And uh, see you guys next time.